So I'm send it Steph. We're actually going to look for a nice parking lot to have Jeff teach me, show me the Harley. And I'm gonna take it for a ride because I want a Harley Dyna or a Sportster or some cruiser style bike and maybe an FXR, who knows? Whatever the Craigslist gods have to offer, or Facebook Marketplace gods, whatever gods want to uh, want to present to me, I'm I'm going for it. Try it out. Step one: try all kinds of bikes. Hi, I'm Send It Steph. We're gonna try out the Dyna today. It's my first time riding it. Bear with me. I've never ridden a Harley before. I've ridden on the back. But this is a trial for me to see if I really like Harleys and let's give it a go. Okay. So we've got the same thing. Get our brake and our clutch. She's a five speed, so it's one down and four up. My beloved horn that I always like to hit. <laughs> Turning indicators. What you're gonna do is okay. the easiest way. I think. Handlebars are turned, so just grab the front brake and just push it. Yep. And I mean, it's, it's, it's not far. You just always keep that kick forward and keep it turned that way. So I feel like it's easiest to just push the whole thing. If they're turned this way, you're like, swing your leg over and sit down. Because when you stop, you can put your foot right freaking on the thing. You know what I mean? Like, Why does it lean over so far? I put 14 inch shocks on the back of it. <laughs> Do you think this is a good representation of a Harley Dyna? Yours isn't going to be like this. It's not going to be this tall. All right. I freaking rode a ZX-9 for my very first motorcycle. I can do this. Throw leg over. I'm, I'm right here. You're not dropping. Okay. Straighten the handlebars out. Woo! It's even taller. It's okay. I won't let you biff. Don't worry. I'm kicking. It's full. Go ahead. Let it work. It's okay. You're good. Trust yourself. It's okay. This is so different than a sport bike. It's just so tall that like my center of gravity is like it's different. I can touch the bike. It's like a dirt bike. You can do this beforehand or you can do it now. But uh reach down right here. You're going to use the clutch anyways, but just all you're going to do is turn on. You're not going to hit the starter yet. You're just going to turn the bike on. Turn the ignition. Hold the clutch. Wow. Yep. Okay. Confident enough in pulling in that clutch. That thing is, you got to give that some, the beans. Oh, you got to give that the beans. Willing to fucking be able to pull it back in once you start going? Yes. Okay. So pull it in and then hit this button. Am I in gear? Let the clutch out because the bike's not running. Really back okay, I'm in neutral. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Is she cold? Is that what happened? It's a fucking Harley. <laughs> it has a soul. We're in first. Barely let up. Barely just let out a tiny bit. You barely have to give it any gas. Make sure you got that clutch all the way in, bro. <laughs> you're in gear. And you're just going to give it a little bit of gas. Like, it doesn't need much. See what I mean? It has so much torque. It wow, it has torque. Yeah. Like, you barely have to give it anything. You just don't want to stall because it'll probably just let pull. So tell me about this bike. It's a 97 uh, Dyna convertible with a couple of modifications. something a little different. <laughs> I was picking my feet up and trying to put them where would they would be on my bike. Yeah, they're, they're a little further forward. It's kind of natural. Like I said, just, just think of it as riding a dirt bike. Okay, we're riding the Harley Dyna. Turns differently than my bike. It 
it's different. Definitely different than my bike. Do a little loop around and meet me over there. You got this. Okay. So this is my first time riding the Harley Dyna. Turns differently. Body position is different. He's got like mega big bars on this bad boy. The risers, the legend suspension, 14 inch in the back. So it's just a different animal. The clutch feels different. It's, um, I can do this. Steph's out rocking the Dyna. What? We're gonna come to a stop. A new Dyna girl here. Just keep that clutch in. Go ahead, give it a little, just a little bit of gas, a little claw. You're good. You got this. Finding that friction zone. These Harley people, man, make this look easy. She's got a, a lot of ponies, a lot of torque. Like, very responsive. I'm so used to, like, gripping hard with the tank and holding myself up. Like, this body position is so strange. How I'm seated upright instead of hunched over the bike and gripping with my arms and legs. It's so weird. So weird, but I like it. Different animal. It's a workout. Different animal, right? Totally different animal. <laughs> it's a workout for my wrists too, because of where the yeah, bars are. Really high. We'd probably do like tens or something for you. Yeah, down here. The other one with the moto bars, just a little bit lower, because I mean it's it's pretty close. Is that how you choose where your handlebars go? Is shoulder level? Yeah, usually you want them kind of right close to that maybe a little bit lower maybe a little higher i mean it's personal preference really yeah i mean i just that that height for me i, I like it's not necessarily for everybody but it's all personal preference okay More, less. i'm i'm gonna i'm good for right now all the way now turn the bars all the way to your right and then just go ahead and lean it okay that's good you're fine it's all good. It's all good. Holy moly. Woo! So I rode the Dyna. The only way to know if you like it is to ride it. The only way to get better is to try new things. <laughs> what, are, what are your initial impressions? It's a big heavy bike and it has so much torque. It's heavy. Everything about it. The angles, the body position, it's so different. It's, it, I like it. It's just a horse of a different color. Yeah, definitely a bigger bike and it's not, uh, not your average uh, Dyna. I'm running a uh, little bit of fender gap there. <laughs> I'm good for today. I'm going to give it another go another day. Cool. I'm proud of you. You did good. I'm proud of myself. Definitely outside of my comfort zone. A lot of times for someone to just jump on it, they, they don't have any you know, preconceived notion of what's gonna happen or what might happen or. So I have fear. Yeah, you're, you have the fear of it. Like a lot of times if you're new and you, and you ride any motorcycle, you might not have that same fear and be like, oh, well, you know, Harley's no different than a Grom. Like if I can ride a Grom, I can't ride a Harley. But, You've ridden bigger bikes and gotten owned by them, so now you have this fear of like, ah, the bike's too big, it's gonna get me. Like, the bike's not gonna get you, you're gonna get me. The first motorcycle I rode was the ZX9, which was a big bike. And I didn't have as much fear on that as I do on the Dyna, because I've I've taken my licks on bikes. Well, it's also like lower, like this thing's like big and heavy and like... Yeah. Intimidating yeah, I liked it. I'll um, see you again another day there, Dinah. And back to what is most comfortable to me.
My girl. That was my first time riding a Harley Davidson. It was my first time riding a Harley Davidson Dyna. I knew it was gonna feel different. The riding position, the hand controls for the throttle, the clutch, the brake, everything was different. It was a bigger bike, but I liked it. It was a good experience. I would, I'm gonna do it again because challenging yourself to trying new and different things only can make you stronger. You learn different things, you add to your toolbox and your skills. And I want all different kinds of bikes. I want Harleys, more sport bikes, more dirt bikes, ADV bikes. I, I want it all. This is gonna be the summer of the Harley. Yeah, you think it'll be a Dyna? What if it's a sporty? What if I'm more comfortable on a sporty or an FXR or one of the newer Harleys? And she's off. Oh, my poor bike, it thinks I'm cheating on it. <laughs>